It looks like the U.S. first couple are in damage control mode. The U.S. first lady, Melania Trump, after staying away from the public eye for a long time, made a surprise visit to the U.S.-Mexico border a day after the president retreated on his immigration policy and signed an executive order to end his policy of family separations amid enormous political pressure. The first lady took part in briefings and attended a tour of a non-profit social services center for children who have entered the U.S. illegally and a customs and border patrol processing center. But Mrs. Trump was spotted wearing a jacket on which uh, the words, I don't really care, do you, were uh, printed on the back. Now the president, Donald Trump, has reacted to the tweet, re reacted to the, the jacket, pardon me, in a tweet saying, I really don't care, do you, written on the back of Melania's jacket refers to the fake news media. Melania has learned how dishonest they are and she truly no longer cares, end quote. Now, there were reports of thousands of children being separated from their parents in recent weeks as a direct result of the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy on unlawful border crossings. On the other hand, President Trump, too, seems to be making amends on the policy. He's officially invited Democratic leaders to the White House to discuss the legislation on immigration. Speaking ahead of a cabinet meeting, Trump reassured that uh, the holding centers at the U.S.-Mexico border are one of the nicest the U.S. can offer. However, he laid emphasis on maintaining strong borders in a tweet later, saying, quote, we have to maintain strong borders or we will no longer have a country that we can be proud of. And if we show any weakness, millions of people will journey into our country, end quote. Take a look at some of the court rulings against the Obama administration. They talked about inhumane treatment. I read them. I looked at them. They're all over the place. Inhumane treatment. They were treating them terribly. We have a situation where some of these places, they're really running them well. And I give a lot of credit to Secretary Nielsen and all of the people that have worked. It's, uh, it's the nicest that people have seen. But it's still something that shouldn't be taking place. Meanwhile, the U.S. House of Representatives defeated a Republican bill designed to significantly reduce visas for legal immigration into the U.S. and to temporarily protect illegal dreamer youths from deportation. The House defeated the measure on a vote of 193 to 231 as a group of Republicans joined the Democrats to sink the plan. The House has been, re has been uh, scheduled to vote on a second immigration bill on Thursday that could appeal to more Republicans, but Republican leaders postponed consideration of that measure until Friday as they sought to build more support.